It is HD. So I have the Wi-Fi. I'm schnick I have my professional networking outfit on. This is how I dress like a professional. Boston Uprising because that's my hometown. Self-fulfilling prophecy. This is the team we're cheering for this year. All right. I live in LA and I mean, you know, LA's got two teams. Yes, they do. They don't need any more fans. <laughs> I lived in Boston for like 12 years. So. so the yes. Wait. I'm going for the first time for match one of these two. Wait, I should give you. Wait. Let me give you my card. DM me on Twitter because there's a really fun esports bar super close to the Overwatch Arena and a lot of people go to it and I'll try and see if people are going that night. It's like right here. It's called Guild Hall. I'm always talking about it. It's called Guild Hall. Oh, sweet! Yeah! We should definitely go! Yeah, I know. Because it's literally like... It's, a, it's the Boston Uprising team of the day that day. So we're going to have some giveaways. We're going to have... Hey! Are you going to, to California? Are you going to California? No, he's going to our watch party here. Oh. Uh, with this pack, and then after that, I had another event that I do at Boss Becker that we get. So I had to come off the plane from LA to go straight to that. I'd be at it. Yeah. It's better to be here at the watch party. Oh my gosh, that's cool. So wait, what is it happening? It's, it's Boston's Boston day? Team of the day. Team of the day. So we're going to have. Uh, to Wait, I feel like I should go that day. Like, I need to wear like all my Boston sports apparel though. And be like, look at my Bruins shirt. Like underneath my Boston uprising, like, hey Bruins fans, what's up? Uh, it's actually filming your table pretty nicely right now. It's showing all your. Yeah, I got this fancy thing to stream at. Disney. I got this thing to stream at Disneyland, basically. And it's very cool. Sorry, I should have asked if you wanted to be on stream. Okay, all right. Say your Twitter. <laughs> follow me on Instagram. Yes! Yes! My Instagram is Hannah, H-A-N-A-H-O-Z-P-O-Z-I. That's my middle name. Yes! Oh, we're going to go out in California, though. So you'll, have, you'll see her Instagram. My Instagram mostly focuses on oh, my Bernice Mountain Dog, oh. Tigger. Oh my god, I used to have a Bernice Mountain Dog name. when I'm streaming but I'm coming back when I'm not live and I'll follow on my cat's account. So this is my thank you. This is my dog. The oh. Bird. oh no that's so cute. I used to have oh her name was Matilda. She was such a big dog and she was such a big dog. Ten months old she weighs Yeah Matilda got to like I think like 115. She was like I could ride her honestly. It was amazing. Oh wow that's cool. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna April 4th. April 4th. Wait, that's really soon. That's really soon. April 4th. Okay. 
All right, I'm gonna try and go. I want to go. Also, I love going to the arena because I live in the town next to it. So it's like everyone's just like, oh, it takes so long to get here. I'm like, it took me 10 minutes to get here. Because LA is the worst for traffic. So whenever, yeah, whenever you're like 10 minutes from something, it's like it's actually no. If you don't like traffic. I don't like traffic. I don't like large groups of people. Oh, uh, it's actually not super crowded. Like, it's not super crowded like New York, where everywhere you went, like, it felt like there was just people all the time. Like, I go places in LA, and I'm like the only person in the park. But there is literally always traffic. It's insane. Like, it's 1 a.m., you're coming home from something, there's standstill traffic. And you're like, what, what is this? What's happening right now? So. I feel like it's starting to happen here. Like, I find the traffic here on like, 1 in the afternoon. That's what my dad said. That's what my dad said. He said that it's gotten, because he still commutes from like the seaport right here to home, and he said it's gotten really, really bad. I was here at like 7.30 this morning, and there was still tons of traffic. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, oh, my God. I got, I came in from the airport at like 5 in the morning, and the traffic was beginning to come into Boston, and I was like, it's too early. It's too early. Today's supposed to be the not busy day. So, like. This was definitely, compared to other packed crowds, this was definitely the not busy day. Oh my god. Wait till it, honestly. Wait. Hey. Oh, someone. <laughs> he said someone over there was giving them the eyes. I was like, I don't know what I was filming. Sorry. Um, yeah, this was. I saw the crowd today going in. This seemed like really lax. Wait till like Saturday. It will be like. You will literally not be able to walk around inside. Did you ever stay for the uh, exhibitor stuff after? Like, you know, like, wonder? No. Did you ever stay for that? No. So, like, today, like. There's a secret path. Yeah, so like after um, after like they close the six o'clock area, yeah. they take all the exhibitors and stuff from underneath for an after party. Yeah. But like I was coming here today already, so I was like, sorry, I can't go. So I've never known. You weren't literally the first person to tell me about this. I haven't, I've never been to an I've never been an exhibitor. I mean, I've come as like Twitch people. We're not exhibitors. You feel like you're working with a group that never gave you the exhibitor. Twitch doesn't give you stuff like that. They give you free badges, but they're just regular badges. Oh my god! We learned about the secret party! Yeah! Wait, what happened? Have you ever gone to it? Disney's day for this? <laughs> no harm, no fun. But anyways, 
Disney streaming's fun, but so is this a radio show? It is. Yeah, it's we have radio and Twitch and podcast. Yep. We record live on Twitch Monday through Friday. Then we cherry pick the best segments, and those go up to the national show every week. I didn't even know people did stuff like that on Twitch. We got 65 affiliates across the U.S. and Canada. So if you like esports, if do you have something that says it? No, it was last minute. It was we're here last minute. What? Checkpointxp.com. 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 You can come Yeah. No, that sounds cool. I like that because obviously I don't do much gaming content on Twitch, but I still talk about games. Like still talk about the world. Yup, yup. And that that is the story of what our show is. We talk about both gaming news and esports news. So like. uh, we talked about that, and then we spent some time talking about all the old people on Twitter that didn't like that. Yeah. Also, what's going to happen with this episode? Disney bought Fox, and the fate of this is apparently in the air after the next two seasons. You don't kill the shit. I, I believe it. Oh, sorry. I believe that. I think someone is, like, going to pick it up. Because I don't think Disney will want to take on the cost of making it, which is what they would have to do. What, 30, 30 or 33 seasons? Like, the syndication alone is going to be for us. Yeah, they said, I was reading an article from Variety on it, like, literally yesterday, because my brother said just in Japan, and I was like, wow, Disney can't kill the Simpsons. It's, like, actually really messed up. Like, no. Yeah, no. Okay. I'm glad that you guys believe that, because, like, the Simpsons is, like, it's in America. Yeah. It is. And the first eSports episode... That's awesome. So, what's your uh, what's your channel? I'm I'm stuck to meow. I wrote it really badly though, so I'll give you a card. Yeah, because like I don't because we do everything on uh, esports and gaming, not even just gaming culture. So we so do cosplay. talk about cosplay. Yeah. Let me show you one so of the cosplays that cosplay. I recently did for one of our. You uh, cosplay? Oh my god! Wait, I need a different pocket for my card collecting. Okay, I'm gonna go in another. No, show the me other pocket. Did. Show me your cosplay. I'll show it on Twitch. Well, I, I, <laughs> also, my Twitch. <laughs> Show's gonna be so my Twitch okay, is so, safe. Okay, this, this is what we do. They think you guys are cute. This is huh? no they think you guys are cute. Oh, they, normally they don't like when I have boys on stream, but my viewers actually went up. So there you go. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> but, hold on. Before you show, I got you. So, when we get reviews on our podcast, okay. the, we make a number. And if you reach that number within the year, within the year, we do a really terrible cosplay. Oh, I love those. All right, you know who Bubsy is? No. <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's the worst character. I gotta pull Show up me the, the real character. Got, I'm pulling up a reference card. Wait, no, no, no. Bring that back up. I don't care what the character is. This is a great <laughs> cosplay. Like someone else this is a great cosplay. <laughs> We can't do this in the EU because the article's <laughs> well. I don't know. <laughs> That's too real. That's too real. I shouldn't have laughed at that. I shouldn't have laughed at that. Article 13 jokes are too real. Yeah. Oh my god, wait, that's like and that man should cosplay. He looks really happy. Wait, is that you? No, that is not wait, me. That is I made that cosplay. I made that He cosplay. made it. He made it, but it was one of our co I I I I put up one of my actual pants? Did he wear pants? He wear pants? You need to wear that picture. He did have pants. He did wear pants. He wore pants. We almost he almost did. He should have not. He should have committed. But he's gonna show you his cosplay. Okay, yeah. Cosplay. So not you so do much it. anymore, but 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 I, I I like the distinction. Okay, as a cosplay. All right, sorry. No, you're right. That was real insensitive. As, I was gonna say, as a cosplay that advocate, was very insensitive. all cosplay is real cosplay. I no. agree. I'm sorry. That was that was that was just. A parody cosplay that we did. No, pa- yes, parody cosplay parody is cosplay. definitely a category. Also, like intentionally right, shitty yes. cosplay is definitely a category. The blue link on the side. Oh, that there you go. Said, like, oh wait, I'm just showing my face ago. still. Hang on. Oh my god, just filming myself. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's. Is that guy like the sexy sax man? That guy was actually like playing for real. <laughs> like they just have to been a con and he was just out like playing for tips and stuff. <laughs> so we're like, do you mind if we pretend to play next to you? And he's like, Wait, I'm trying to guess what convention center this is at. Is this in Boston? Uh, no, no, no. This is Chicago at ASEC. Okay, it weirdly looks like the Long Beach Convention Center in one point, and I was like, did you go to a Long Beach con? But 
It has a very, I, I know many convention centers. I have not been to Chicago Con yet though. Because <laughs> only because I've been to Chicago one time on New Year's Eve and it was so fucking cold. I was like, I never need to go back here. I'm, I'm done. I'm done I'm with this whole, this whole region. Like, so cold. Yeah. Oh, man. Wait, why do you have a note? Okay, that requires explaining. All right. It's an so, eSports joke. Oh, that's true. Greatest of all time is what GOAT stands for. That's, that's true. I did, I was like, okay, this makes sense now. Yeah. It clicked. Okay. So yeah, see, okay. there you go. Oh, we got it. <laughs> Hashtag. There you go. It's a very cute GOAT, too. Go GOATs. Yeah, go GOATs. All right. We're gonna walk around, show the other things. We'll be back. Yeah, is this like, yeah. are these gamers over here? Yeah, there's like a Red Bull thing going on, so. Okay, are they gonna give me Red Bull or no? If, if you ask, they might, they gave us Hold on, hold on. Should we talk to other people? Yes. I'm having a good time interacting with human beings. I'm working on my social anxiety live on Twitch with all of my chat. Wait, there's actually a lot of people here and then I got a lot more nervous once I left the small room. Wait, there's food? Oh yeah, this party costs money. So there is food. Food looks... What is it? Is it like just burgers? I don't like burgers. Is there any that are not... Alright, whatever. I, can't, I don't have enough hands to eat. I got Red Bull though. That's up. Okay, let's go in here. Should we, uh... Just ask people how their PAX is going. I think that's like probably the best thing that I could. Oh wait, let's meet. Let's meet more organizations. Oh, these are indie games. Oh my god, this one's called Dead Boy. Should we learn what Dead Boy is? Tell me. Tell me about Dead Boy. Wow, I went, that guy's name tag is Brian Maloney and I went to high school with somebody with that exact name and I was like, is that Ryan Maloney? And I'm like, no, it's not. Just the same name. Checkpoint guy here. Yes, wait, uh, get a mod to permit you so you can type your link in chat. Akano, can you permit him so they can type their link in chat? Don't just type it because you'll get timed out. But Akano could give you permission because he's a moderator. Um, I know. I'm in a crowd! Ah. I'm, wor I'm working on through my anxiety in real time with my Twitch chat. Let's, start Let's ask if we can show a game. This guy looks like he wants to talk. We live on Twitch! We live on Twitch! Promote yourself! Really? Yeah, always. Alright, I guess. Yeah, always. My name is Optimus Bananas. Hell yeah! Oh, you got a card? Show it! Twitch.tv slash Oh my god, Optimus yes! Bananas. I love this! Wait, give me your card! You can have the card. Yes! I love this game! The Promote Yourself game! That's how I'm going to talk to people oh, tonight. Talk to, talk to people? Yeah, just be like, promote okay. yourself. Everyone likes it so far. Yeah, where are we at? We got one step at a time. One step at a time, oh, yeah. they're talking about me being nervous in this crowd of people. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, well, you gotta just do it again. I just gotta talk to people, because I've done a lot of IRL streaming, but I'll not lie to you, it's not till this year that I started talking to people on really? this stream. Yeah. I never know, like, you know Twitch, like, you have a Twitch channel, so, like, you want to talk to Twitch. But, like, a lot of other people think I'm really strange, because I do this as my job, so... Oh, so you, this is, you do a full time yeah. Well, I do Twitch and I do other content. I'll give you my card too. Okay, cool. Are you going to TwitchCon? I, do, I didn't go that last year. I've been wanting to go for the last year. Are you going to maybe go this year? Maybe. I'll. I'll That's cool. That's awesome. Yeah, make cosplays on stream now. So we, so we do. Uh, like, I, I, I work. I, I'm here with a website. A website sent me, and they do 
Crimson Dawn because he's just a badass. I mean, he's, and they actually, Sam Witwer, who plays Darth Maul and is the voice for Darth Maul in that movie, schooled them on what lightsaber he should have. <laughs> he actually said uh, it should be his Inquisitor lightsaber and not the uh, double bladed one from episode one, like everybody was, they were going to say he was going to have. That just sounded like talking about like math to me. <laughs> ah! But anyways, uh, it was nice really you. nice to meet you. Thank you for the Star Wars information. I hope that you get to go to the park. But if you can, I'll probably be streaming it on Twitch. I'm gonna go to Twitch. TwitchCon this year. Yes, go to TwitchCon. I'm gonna try. What? Uh, what? I was gonna say. Do you have any questions about TwitchCon? Because I can like tell you about like what. It's uh, I have some friends that have been there before, yeah. so I know all about it. Yeah, it's like... I'm, not, I'm no partner, but, you know... That's the only thing I was going to say. TwitchCon, and everybody knows this because I've said this on stream before. TwitchCon is fun, but it's like... It's not like this, where like no. everybody is like hanging out and going to the same parties. Yeah. Even as It's a, little clicks. No, even as a partner, it's like... I didn't get invited to like private parties. Are you a partner? And, yeah, and like I didn't get invited to... People are like, what'd you get invited to? And I'm like, nothing. I'm like, the partner party? Like, that one party <laughs> that we all got invited to? Are you going tomorrow to the Asian Predator party? I think I'm going to the movies with my mom. <laughs> I, have, I have an RSVP, but my mom was like, can we go see us? And I was like, uh, yeah, I want to see that. So you, tell me about your, your rig here. Okay, so this is my new Disneyland streaming rig, okay. basically. I got this because I started doing IRL content at Disney, and I okay. wanted it to be better, and so people supported me to get this. So this is, I think it's called a Smooth 4, 
if you're looking to get okay. one. And it is What it, did that run you? It's only $125. Really? And people people react differently to that. I hear $125 and I'm like, that's a reasonable price for like a tech. Something like yeah, that. Like equipment. Yeah. Like it, it was worth $125. Oh yeah. Me. So yeah, it's only on Amazon the smooth core. Smooth core. Highly recommend it. What phone do you have? iPhone 6S. Okay, right you'd, you'd probably be okay. My phone with this case is really heavy, so I have to have an extra weight on it, um, uh, which makes the whole thing weigh about like two pounds. So it's and a, holding it's two a pounds workout. Like, holding two pounds like this is for hours oh, at, at a night. That's what I told stream. I'm like, I can only stream really like 90 minutes at a time, then I take a break. Yeah. So like when I go to Disney, I'll like, I'll be like, all right, I'm going to sit down now and take a break. And like, but it's a lot of fun. I like doing the IRL stuff. I spent a lot of time in my room playing games for like three years straight. And that, that was a lot of time. That's, that's <laughs> Like, it, you definitely, when you're playing games all day, every day, it definitely gets to a point where you're like, okay, I need to see humans again. What's happening? I usually start my streams with IRL. Yeah. Talk to my chat, talk to my people that come in. I, I have a, I have a pretty, cool to know. A pretty loyal following. Yeah. That like, it might not be big, but I have a pretty loyal following. Dude, it doesn't have, like that's what people don't realize. Like, it doesn't have to be the biggest following. You just see people who are engaged just, with you. I like, actually feel bad for those people that are tuning in, and I'm not when I don't stream. Yeah. Like, that's, that's that's the biggest thing I'm a, about Twitch. I'm bad because I'm really bad about having a schedule. Like, but my stream knows that. I've been streaming five years. I've never had a schedule. My channel. We know this. Is, I've been we know streaming. This. I've been streaming like eight years on and off. Nice. So like. I've gotten really serious about it after I bought my own house. Yeah! And you space for it. I have all the space that I want. I have my own actual studio now. Nice. Which, is, which is awesome. I know. I wish I wasn't in an apartment, but one day. One day I'll have a stream space. Listen, I'm working on I it. I bought my house for $12,000. I live in the middle of nowhere, Pennsylvania. I have good internet and I'm happy with it. I need to move there! I could buy a house! You could buy a house. Oh my god! I need to... I'm not neglectful. Stop no, my the stream. the town is a really, like, small town America. Yeah. It's pretty nice. I mean, I grew up in a small town, so, like... Go. Oh, my God. I didn't even know I could buy a house anywhere in America. No, don't move to the middle of nowhere. It's true. I need to go to Disneyland. We have good internet, though. They have good that, internet. That was, that and was I a buy requirement. A house. We and have I, gigabit. Well, we have better internet than I do. I have Spectrum, so... Uh, that's, like, fucking Time Warner. Like, not good. Yeah, I... I uh, my ISP is like this big, so I will never say my ISP on, on, on a live. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Just, just tell yeah. no. no. Pro tip, yo. Pro tip. Uh, uh, we're, we're, out, we're, we're out here, we're just uh, demoing games and everything. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I think I'm going to ask some of these guys if they want to show their games. Do you know any of the guys who have games here? I don't know any of All them right. personally, but... That's what I don't know any of the game people, so I want to... 30 Beast Games. It's 30 I mean, Beast Games. I mean, I'm going to ask Dirty Beast Games if they want to... I mean, Twitch is saying, is there takeout food where you live, though? Or do you have to cook a lot? Uh, there's takeout. There's takeout? Okay. But I like not, to cook. But there is no Uber Eats. Oh, that's fine. I don't need Uber Eats. I, I live in LA, and I don't even use Uber Eats. Like... And I, I go get my food. Like, walk and get your food. Or, like, go pick it up. I don't know. Uber Eats, I don't trust. I think they eat your fries and stuff. Oh. I always hear people about that in L.A. They're like, I didn't get my sauce. <laughs> I didn't get... Yeah, they said they're following you on Twitch. It's Optimus Bananas, right? O-P-T-I-M-U-S-B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Yep, someone typed it correctly. Thanks, guys. All right, let's ask Dirty Beast Games if they want to tell right. us what they have okay. going on. Take care. We'll Dude, nice meeting in. you. I nice really enjoyed it. Oh, oh, you have Twitter? Yes. It snugs me out on everything. I'm right. very lucky. I'll, I'll, I'll yeah! follow and I'll shoot you a DM. Yes! Dude, right. seriously DM me. It was great chatting with you. Great chatting with you. Bye! Okay, let's ask, is this guy looking for his streamer roommate? You'll have to go follow his stream and ask him. He streams. Oh my god, I didn't realize people here also streamed. This is going to be so much easier than I thought to interact with human beings because they actually know what I'm doing and they're probably not completely put off by it. I'm going to try and ask a game maker to talk to us about their indie game though. That's what I'm on. I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission to hear about some indie games. Tell me about some indie games. I don't know what that song is. 
Hey, do you want to tell Twitch about your game? Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, okay, it's live, just so you know. I assume, I assume that you figured that out. All right, let's hear about this game. We're here. Yeah. So this is a this is Slip Time Sleuth. It's a time-traveling, isometric-type puzzle game here. Uh, right. It's kind of like a YouTube video. You can slide the timer. Oh. Wait. I need more explanation. How does that work? Okay, can someone <laughs> I'll film and you play and tell me about your cool game. Yeah, just check it out. So, we have it all here, right? We're gonna see this. It's called Slip Time Sleuth. Yeah, Slip Time Sleuth. And we got Sunburst Studios. That's what we're seeing right now. The Sleuth. Sorry. acorn and then put it and then it's like a tree is in the future kind of kind of oh that's really cool twitch says this is a neat idea all right sorry there's some spoilers and that's how you get through the door. Oh, I love puzzles! Oh, I don't, it would take me like an hour to figure that out though, but, but I love puzzles. Oh my gosh, that's really cool. So is this for your school or project or is this gonna be a game that's like released on Steam or? Nice. Oh, cool. That's why I couldn't tell if it was like exactly through school or not, but that's sweet. Awesome. So if they want to follow updates for your game, that would be where it would be at. All right. If you want to follow updates for this game, Slip Time Sleuth, it's Sunburst Studio. And there is their social. Yeah. He said that it's gonna be released on Steam, you said, eventually. They asked what platform it would be on, Steam? Wait, Discord has a game? They have a game library. Game to what? My face when I learned Discord had a game library. What? I don't know, I don't use Discord that much, admittedly. But I didn't know that they had a game library. That's cool to know. And they're indie friendly, good to know. Sweet guys, thank you so much for the info. Have a good night. Discord has a game library? What? Okay, I'm doing a really good job at interacting and I'm proud of me. <laughs> hey, I do post on Discord to say where I'm sharing other content. I don't know that people use Discord. Also, nobody talks when I respond. I at everyone and I think they've all muted it. They're like, I don't want to ever see an update from you oh ever again. God. It snubs me out. The Trying to see. We are hiring. Ooh. Oh, also, these are all games that are like made in New England. That's kind of cool. New England hype. New England hype. Discord is cool. I, oh, shit. Oh, no. I totally messed up the gimbal for like two seconds, sorry. Um, yeah, I do use Discord, but, and I've been trying to promote it more. I use Discord and I've been trying to promote it more and I talk to more people on Discord, but I didn't know that Discord had a game library, admittedly. Did you know Discord had a game library? I think I messed up my gimbal. I messed it up. I messed the tracking up for a second. 
Build up your encampment via by protecting or destroying settlements. And All then, right. Uh, basically, the object is destroy the other uh, encampments or um, eliminate your play, eliminate opposing players, or build up a settlement so it's so powerful, create an economy, and you can win with uh, large settlements just outright. It's three three ways of victory. That's cool. So, are you like developing? Is this like the prototype? Yeah, this is a prototype. This Sweet. Is like alpha. This is like the alpha of a board game. The yeah. planning stages of a board game. We got, we got, obviously we got some artwork already going. Artwork's going. Core game mechanics are already in play. Mod me, I will ban you. There's a, quite a few units in the game, so each player actually gets a little, a little booklet with all the um, characters, all the uh, different units in the game. About actually 70 units in the game. Whoa. Complicated chess. Oh my god, okay. So this would not be a game that I would play <laughs> because really complicated board games make me angry, but but I know that some people really love them. Yeah, well it's, I it's had, hardcore. I had some intense experiences playing Monopoly growing up and you know that 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 did it in for me with the board games. Monopoly? Really? You couldn't do it? I mean, once people were fighting and throwing shit over Monopoly, I was like, okay, board games are not worth it. So, yeah. Stick to video games then. Stick to getting mad on the internet. Mad on the internet, that works. I don't know. Ask, ask him how D&D inspired it is. Oh, extremely D&D inspired. It's, it's extremely D&D inspired. Um, units actually have an alignment, and it's the exact same alignment as D&D. So you got neutral, uh, chaotic, neutral, and uh, lawful. Also chaotic, I mean evil, good, and neutral. Everybody in LA likes to describe themselves in those terms, and I'm like, um, you're human beings, not D&D &D characters. d and a way of life, right? It's true. So, so, you know, Unfortunately, I know a lot of lawful, evil people. I think, yeah. So kind of like Draco Malfoy in... Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Kind of like a douchebag, but he's not out deliberately killing people. That would be oh! Evil. I can think of a lawful evil person I know exactly who is Draco Malfoy and totally a douchebag, but would probably not kill people. Anyways, now I know, and that's what lawful evil is. Yeah, and in the opposite spectrum, let's say chaotic good, that would be um, Robin Hood. So he's good, okay. he's stealing from the rich, which is uh, a law, uh, breaking the law, but he's giving it to the poor, so he's a good person. Yeah, yeah. alright, what's well, like, and then a neutral person is like just... Oh, the, for yourself, you don't really like, give a fuck. Wait, neutral is don't give a fuck? Yeah, yeah, you're, you're just kind of to yourself, right? Oh, you're, you're not, to yourself, yeah. not for yourself. Because if you're, like, really selfish, that doesn't feel neutral. F fair enough. Yeah. That's probably what I should have said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but you just, like, stick to yourself. Okay. To yourself. You're not out to hurt nobody, but you're not out to help anybody. You're just doing your own thing. All right. All right. You play D&D? &D? No. Oh, you should get in. I feel like you have the perfect... You can make the perfect character for yourself. I bet your whole chat knows... That if you were to make character, it'd be like grand, very visionary. I very make a lot of original design costumes, so I want people who play D and D to hire me to make their characters into costumes. Oh, see, that'd be that's good. what I see. I like playing games, but also I really like making costumes, and that takes a shitload of time. So it's all about how much time I have for everything. So between making costumes, making content, 
and doing both. I haven't been playing a lot. I don't know if I could really keep up with the campaign. That's the only reason I haven't committed to one. That's why you play like once a week, once a month, you know. Yeah. I would definitely be one of the cat people though. I know that. Cat people? Yeah. My brother told me about the cat people. My brother plays, so I know a decent amount about it. That's good. But yeah. It's, it's tough. It's tough in LA to get people to commit to that shit too. Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure uh, Californians, they don't commit to nothing, right? <laughs> My friend from Maine and I talk about how like nobody comes to parties there when you invite them to parties, but if you're in Massachusetts and you like have a party, like every fucking person in the entire world comes to the party. And you're like, how the hell did you know I was having a party? I don't even know you. Like, that's not LA at all. Not LA. All douchebags. It's the West Coast. They're all, they're all stuck up their own asses. Just... There are a lot of douchebags there. He's not wrong. But that's where all the content making is. That's where everybody who lives, who makes content. Well, that's so. where smart douchebags go. <laughs> no, I think they're in New York. I think they're in New York. Do you live in LA though, Granty Pants? I thought you didn't live in LA anymore. Not doxing you. I actually don't know where you live. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you for the info. Do you have a card? Mine, take it. There's a website. Yeah, I'll take the card. They'll give you this. One of mine. This was the channel that I was on. Thank you. Yeah. Nice meeting you guys. Thank you for the brief D&D &D education. It's important. Nice meeting you guys. Bye. What do you guys, if you could classify me in D&D &D terms, what do you think I am? Somebody told me I'm like chaotic good, but I don't think that's actually true. I think I'm like actually a little bit more lawful than that. I'm like kind of a lawful person. I make mistakes, but like only when convinced by like truly fucking evil people. So... I don't know. Oh my god. I'm offended by the existence of this beverage. The Battle Royale. Actually, if I drink alcohol, that sounds really good, and I want that. That sounds like yum yums, and I'm just sad that it's called the Battle Royale. I'm not buying this game. It's because it's New England. They have they have their feelings about California people. Chaotic neutral. Yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah. That's probably probably a little bit more. Make, I don't know. I think I'm a little bit more good. Except for like, I've only made like a couple really notable like bad, bad, bad. And it's only like a couple times, and I was like felt really bad about it. Like. You're pretty right about the people not showing up to parties. Oh, I know I'm right about that. I don't need somebody to tell me I'm right or wrong about that. I know that in my soul to be true. We're back in the main room. There are a lot of dudes here and less ladies, but that's okay because I'm pretty used to that at these gaming events. Oh my God. I've been holding my selfie stick for 48 minutes with just one of my arms. My arm feels jacked. <laughs> also, I started working out this month. And guys, it's good for your mental health. You should do it. As a mental health advocate, you should work out every day. The end. I think it's helping me be able to do these IRL streams too. Because like, this is some... I'm wearing a heavy backpack, and this thing is heavy as fuck. What? It's like hurting cats. Oh, really? I thought Irish people like to hang out and like get get pints. Or is that British people? Am I wrong? I might be wrong. I thought Irish people were like very sociable. I don't know who else to talk to. I'm gonna, oh, there was something interesting over here that I wanted to film that I didn't film in the beginning. Oh, researchers to an after work party. Yeah, I don't know how that's gonna go. I really don't know how that's gonna go for you. I think I smell a little bit, which is like weirdly probably helping me in this environment. I'm like, oh man, I did not put on de enough deodorant, just realized. I'm like, oh, it might be off-putting to people. Great. Wait, what is this? 
What is this? I have to show this. It's a dollhouse, and I'm very infatuated by it. What are these miniatures? I did just... Snug so meow is Irish. I am. I did also just adjust my gimbal with my nose. So if you were wondering what that jerky movement was, that was me adjusting with my nose. I don't know what I'm showing right now. I'm gonna sit down for a second because my back hurts. I've been walking. Oh my god, what is this party? I'll explain. I'm gonna sit down for a second. Hi! Okay, we're at, I got all my business cards in my pocket where I'm collecting my business cards. Um, we are at Made in MA, which is a used to be a PAX pre-party, but now since PAX is four days, uh, it's just one of the after parties now. The feature of this event is all the creators here are people who, bye, have a good night to you. Thank you so much for hanging out and chatting. Um, the, one of the features of this event is all the creators here uh, are New England game makers or New England esports professionals or they uh, have something that they've made in Massachusetts. But it also seems like some of the other New England states count, like Rhode Island and stuff, so I'm just gonna say New England at this point. Since Mass is a small state and like everything tends to get lumped together anyways. So kind of an interesting perspective to see game makers outside of like LA, which is where I feel like most game makers like live and do stuff. I know there's gaming companies in other places, but like a lot of them are in LA or San Francisco or like other parts of California. So it's interesting to see uh, a professional event outside of Los Angeles. Yeah! Yo, what up, Soul Punch? How's it going? I'm kicking the table that the gimbal's on. That's me doing that. Sorry. I'm going to sit for a second because I've been carrying so much. Esports 
legitimized in the way that we support professional sports, then there's going to be people who watch esports but don't play that game. And they can enjoy the atmosphere and they can enjoy the event and they can enjoy the gameplay but don't play that game. Because I think there's still like stigma in esports that if you don't play that game, then people are like, why are you here? Are you even a fan? Like, do you know what's going on? And I don't think that's fair to say because most people who are watching professional sports don't play the game that they're watching. So it should probably be the same mentality adopted in esports if we want it like legitimized and in the mainstream in the same way. Because there's a lot of esports that I enjoy watching, like StarCraft is one of the esports that I really enjoy watching. I have actually played a decent amount of StarCraft though, so that's a little different. But Overwatch, I've been to like three or four Overwatch events at the arena now. It's a game that I can watch and like understand what's going on and be like hyped for the atmosphere, the energy, but like it's not a game that I am going to play in my free time because I don't want to play Overwatch. But I enjoy Overwatch as an esport and I enjoy like what the Overwatch League is doing to like legitimize esports and like the entire industry. So I like have an appreciation for Overwatch. Um, Cause I know people be like, why do you want to go to an Overwatch match? You don't play Overwatch. And it shouldn't be like that. It should be like, I want to go to an Overwatch match because I want to be a spectator of an esports event. And like, that's exactly like the mentality and the attitude that I have towards any of the esports events that I go to of games that I don't play. So anyways, that's my statement about esports. Take it or leave it. I agree with you so much though, that anybody should be able to go. What time is it? I should have looked at the train schedule before I started the stream. Why do I always do this? Why do I always do this? That's okay. I always do this. I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna sit for a couple more minutes and then I'm probably gonna stream for like another 15 minutes. And then I think I'm gonna do like other coverage while I'm here because I need to look at the train schedule to figure out when I'm leaving. Um, I assume the reason people are like that is because it's a not as a long-standing thing as sports. People aren't used to it being interested if they don't play. Yeah, it's going to take time. It's the same thing with like cosplay. People think that people can't be interested in cosplay if they don't make costumes, but that's just like simply not true. A lot of people, um, sorry. My notifications are on, so I'm seeing mentions come through while I'm also streaming, and it's distracting me. Um, actually, I think people appreciate cosplay and don't cosplay, so hopefully maybe that can happen to esports. So there's a lot of people who really like cosplay, but have never made a cosplay and don't want to wear a cosplay. So like, that same spectator appreciation, I guess, should be able to go to esports. I don't know, it's gonna take it's gonna take people who don't play these games. Like I don't play Overwatch. I want to go to the match. I'm like, here I'm at the I'm at the Overwatch match. I don't play Overwatch. It's gonna take people admitting that they don't play these games, which is like not something that people like to do in gaming. Like people will ask me, would be like, have you played this game from a really old game? And if I have not played that game, I'll be honest. I'll be like, I have not played that game. Like. That's not my type of game that I like to play. I have not played that game. But you can hear other people be like, I'm gonna pretend like I played that game because I feel like that's what I need to say to be like accepted by other gamers. And I'm like, I think the gaming community has to get like less shamey. There's like a lot of sh shaminess in gatekeeping. So like that needs to go away so like more people can enjoy like the large scale of like, maybe I don't play this eSport, but like I enjoy this eSport. I don't know. That's my, that's my hot take on it while I sit here. I have to like talk about something otherwise it looks like I'm just sitting on my couch. On my, on my couch. Sitting on my couch. Otherwise it looks like I'm just sitting on a couch filming myself. Which is like, actually
attention to. Say hi, Dirty Bot. I've not had enough water today and just a lot of caffeine, and I'm really fucking up. Sorry. I'm sorry I'm letting you down. That's true because you definitely get the mentality of some people in the community are like, you don't look like you were discriminated against, so you don't deserve to be part of this fandom. And I'm like, actually, you have no idea what my high school and middle school experience was like. And just because I look one way on the outside, it doesn't mean that I don't represent fandoms and don't have like nerdy experiences on the inside. That's a really fucking annoying thing about about gaming and the community, I guess. Is like people think within the community that like nerds and gamers have to look and meet and act a certain way. But in reality, there's all kinds of gamers and there's all kinds of people in our community. And there's there's like more there's like normies who play a lot of games. That's a statement. Statement of the year. There are normies who play a lot of games. My brother, I love him. My brother, Michael, is pretty normie when it comes to like gaming culture. He does not know a lot about games. He's played a lot of games, but he's like pretty normie. And like I still feel like he's really in gaming culture. Because yeah. I hope so. But anyways, my pants are getting so much fluff on them. And I don't know if it's coming from this sweater, because this sweater is new. But if that is the case, this is a very shitty sweater. And I only paid $14 for it. Or my pants are just fixed, getting a lot of lint on them. I'm sorry, no one's concerned about this except for me.
worn it. So now, <laughs> snugs me out. <laughs> Just with my sweater falling apart at a public event. That's fine. I got it all over this couch. It's really embarrassing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm sure. What is the sweater made out of? I don't know. Really shitty, not real materials. It's just fuzz. It's all over the couch though. It could be worse, you're right. It could be worse. I'm so embarrassed. I got it all over this couch. I don't even know how it's still falling apart. I'm not even moving around that much. I'm just sitting here. Let's go. We're going to do one more walk around. Hi. Is 
Say hi to Twitch. Yay! I'm on Twitch. I got a card. Let me. What? Yeah. Have a good one. Dude, people. Okay, people in Boston. People in Boston did not like me live streaming them. People at this party don't care. So I'm probably not gonna do any IRL in Boston because people in Boston don't like to be filmed. People at this party seem to be okay with it. Some good, some good photo bombing experiences, for sure. Ooh, they had mocktails. Blackberry lemon twist. That actually sounds so good. For them. Non-alcoholic Red Bull drinks. Wow, the Wi-Fi here is really good. It's just like the public Wi-Fi I've been using for this stream, and I think it's been in like HD the entire time. That's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna walk around the main room um, once more, and then I think I'm gonna head off. And I think I might head home. I'm. Pretty, I'm pretty tired, and I gotta take the train back. Um, I've been hanging out with my family this week, kind of just like chilling out, cause I've been really busy in LA, like kind of go 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 to like photo shoots and stuff. I've been doing more photo shoots in Ma. Hey, say hi to Twitch. Wait, it's coming back. Yeah, hell yeah. Have a good one. Um, I've been doing more, I love all these photo bombings. I'm just gonna stand here. Also, this thing is fun, how it like rotates around. It makes it look a lot better. But yeah. What I was saying is, hey, what's up, Drop the Shulupa? Bye, M Fox. thanks for coming by and chatting. Um, I've been doing more modeling and photo shoots and things because that's kind of what's been helping me to support myself making content. Um, Take a picture of me once a week if you're like, why did she just do the peace sign? Like, oh, peace sign. <laughs> yeah, have a good one. Uh, yes. So, I'm still streaming on Twitch, just I'm also streaming on Instagram Live. So, you probably will still see streams of me every day, but they're on both platforms now. And that's kind of cool. And I like it. And hopefully, you do too. And also I started putting more content on YouTube because people told me they're like, I don't watch Twitch anymore, I just watch Twitch streams on YouTube. And I was like, what? Why would you do that? And they're like, you'd be surprised the number of people who were like, I don't watch Twitch anymore, I just watch Twitch streams on YouTube. And I'm like, what? The lighting in here is really cool. I feel like I'm in a spaceship. Get your last looks at the Made in Massachusetts party. I'll probably post some pictures and stuff um, afterwards too on Instagram. So if somebody can do the Instagram command. Wait, is that a yes? Thank you. What? <laughs> I was like, wait, is that a cookie? All right, I gotta put this in my bag for a second because I got no hands, no hands. My arms hurt and I need to rotate this thing. I am, yes, putting a cookie in a pocket in my bag. I am not above it. Oh, thank you for the follow. Oh, this was the game that I wanted. Wait, I wanted to ask them to tell me about their game because it's called Dead Boy. Can you tell Twitch about your game? Can I tell Twitch about my game? Oh. Yeah! Oh no! Yeah! You put on the spot. I like the name, Thank Dead Boy, you. and the yeah. art. So Dead Boy, it's a tell us about Dead Boy. So it's a 2D puzzle platformer uh, where you're playing as and swapping between multiple different characters. They're okay. all dead children that are making their way through the afterlife, and they all have different abilities of, uh, that help them solve puzzles, and they gain those abilities based on how they died. Oh shit! Yeah. Wait, have you ever seen the anime Angel Beats? I have not. Okay, 
watch Angel Beats? Okay. It's kind of like Angel Beats. Okay. okay what? Then. That makes me want to play your game. I love Angel Beats. <laughs> Oh my god! Wait, okay, so yeah. take this. Yes, yes please Dead do. Boy. Share it everywhere. Everyone on Twitch, follow the game and stuff. You got a nice shiny poster. That's yes. cool. We're selling those for 15 minutes if you'd like to. I, I'm not a poster gal, but I showed it to Twitch. They see the sparkle. They got that. Check out Dead Boy. Come get the sparkle. Yeah, that's cool. Well, thank you for the info. Is it going to be on Steam? Yes, it's going to be launching on Steam probably around late May. Late May. All right. Steam. Dead Boy. Play as some kids, maybe like Angel Beats. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Thank you, you too. <laughs> Damn. I love kids. Like, I, a lot of animes have, like, dead ghost kids in them. There's a lot of animes like that. Um, dead Boy. I think they turned the lights off or down? So, yeah, I somebody like, I feel like the lighting just changed in here. Let's see what else is happening. Uh, are these houses? Is this a fighting game of houses? Is this a fighting game of houses? Yes, it is. What? Wait, 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 what's it called? Here, it's called property. Deal. Can you tell Twitch about it? Sure. Okay, show us how you fight as houses. Right. Okay. So who's fighting? A barn and a, a Victorian mansion. Oh, kick its ass, Victorian mansion. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I'm getting money. Property I'm damage, y'all. Property uh, damage. Money. It's a house so fighting funny. game. This is an older version of the game that we had to bring up for this. Uh, How? Yeah. This much newer version with a lot more polish. But it's still oh, this looks dope. Hey. That was Maximum the, house. That was the old thing. Classic. Yeah. Property damage is really funny. In the newer build, the, uh, the okay. health cards actually change to property value, and you're supposed to feed the property value out of it. That's really funny. Oh, nice. Oh. Oh my god, Victorian house! You're getting your ass kicked. I don't know, you have an ass because you're a house. I'm upset. <laughs> I don't know what you have. You're getting your doors kicked. Something like that. <laughs> Oh, I timed that. This game is on food. What is the block? What is the block you want me to just block. check it? Can we just check it? Oh, yeah, that's oh. a block. Though. It's very time sensitive. Oh, shit. That poor bard. Hi. <laughs> Alright. This is cool, guys. Thank you for showing us. No problem. Yeah, have a good time. Property damage. I don't know. What's this? Got a little... Little 8-bit depth this depth of san this sanity. I don't know how to say that name. So I'm not gonna talk to them because I don't want to mispronounce their game name. Alright guys. I think I'm gonna find a place to wrap up the stream. Yeah. I'm gonna go go back out to where the Boston Uprising people are. I feel good. We did a lot of socializing. We did a lot of socializing. We saw a lot of indie games. We met a lot of people. Thank you for being here with me, Twitch. Um, I might be streaming at some other PAX events this weekend, but this is the only one where I was like specifically like, hey, they were like, can you stream? And I'm like, yeah, I would like to stream. Well, they asked if I wanted to come and then I was like, can I stream? Which is usually how things go. So, I think this will probably be the only PAX stream from this weekend, but I think I'll be doing some other content um, stuff at home. And then when I get back to LA, I have so much planned. I'm like immediately jumping back into a bunch of things in LA. Uh, I don't know if the chat, nobody has said anything for a while, so I think I'm still connected, but I'm going to leave now. Not sure you're still connected. But anyways, thank you for watching. Let me do my command and test. I don't know, I just realized that nobody has said anything for like 10 minutes, and so I'm like, huh.